The tanker cars carrying Bach and crude oil from North Dakota are running once again along the banks of the Kanawha River in Mount Carbon, West Virginia. It was just over two months ago when a train carrying 109 oil cars derailed. 19 cars exploded. Paige Del Porto shot video of the blast. All of a sudden the sky lit up like this amazing orange color and another one had, had blown. One home was destroyed, but there were no fatalities. Richard and Ann Skaggs lived less than a mile from the crash site. They stayed in their home during the incident. Although their property suffered no direct damage from the blast, they believe vibrations from the heavy emergency equipment rushing to the scene may have caused cracks in the walls of their home. I feel a little uneasy, especially when you know it's a tanker train. Uh, a coal train wreck might not scare you as much as these kind of things that can explode and and I think it was just by the grace of God that it happened where it did and not and no one was killed. The CSX rail line runs right behind their neighborhood. If that wreck happened directly across from us, railroad is three rows of houses over and the houses next to the track would have had a lot of damage, more than one house that burnt. If it had been up this way uh, 200 yards, it would have been a lot, uh, much more would have, it, it would have destroyed a lot more people's houses, I'm sure. Randy Fitzpatrick saw the explosion from his home directly across the river in Boomer. I saw this big ball of fire going up in the air. This area has had a number of experiences dealing with fossil fuel industry related accidents. In 2012, a natural gas line explosion destroyed four homes and closed a major highway less than an hour away in Sissonville. There appears to be a quiet resilience among the residents in reaction to these accidents. There's local coal mines. Uh, if you live in this valley, you live in uh, within, a, within the knowledge that there's tragedy, possible tragedies all around you. I think it's, you know, that information is stored somewhere, you know, it doesn't just uh, go over the head completely. They have a way of dealing with it, but it's there. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's there. It'll come up uh, some other way, some other time. There is growing evidence that pipelines are also unsafe. An investigation conducted by Politico shows that from 2010 to early 2015, nationwide, there were more than 3,100 incidents involving gas or oil pipelines. That includes leaks, spills, and explosions. Those cases resulted in 78 deaths and 369 injuries. More than 400 miles away along the banks of the Schuylkill River, there are also worries about oil trains. The trains run along the Schuylkill River Park and through crowded neighborhoods. That it can go at any second. It's a scary uh, thought that it's how volatile, I mean, how volatile it is. We think about it constantly. Um, every time we come to the dog park, that how it can just go. It's how precious life is and, and it's a danger. I believe it's always a risk, you know, when you have those tanks, especially near uh, parks like this, you know, that, you know, a lot of people could get hurt, especially if, uh, you know, an explosion happens, you know, that could take out a lot of people. It's a danger when they come through places where people live, we're close to the river. I mean, if it derailed at this point, not only would it contaminate um, people's living space, it would also contaminate our, our um, Delaware water supply. The Obama administration has introduced regulations calling for the phasing of tank cars with thicker walls and federal transportation officials have ordered oil trains to slow to 40 miles per hour when passing through highly populated areas. The train that exploded in Mount Carbon was traveling at 33 miles per hour when it derailed. Most recently, a train consisting of 103 tank cars carrying Bach and crude oil was traveling 23 miles per hour when 21 cars derailed and caught fire. The Department of Transportation says tank cars are vulnerable to being punctured at speeds in excess of eight miles per hour. Residents in both river towns are wary of assurances. I mean, when it comes by, it actually sends chills up my spine. People need to wake up, get involved. Uh, there's, this is a democracy.